What is up everybody? It's me, Johnny G, and today we've got another cool review for you. This time, this came just in time. I just got up. It is Saturday, and I've got a lot of things that I need to get done. I need a little bit of energy, a little bit of a pick-me-up, some caffeine to get my day started, to get me through this day. So, what better timing that this shows up? This is an item that I pre-ordered a little while ago, and it turns out to be the limited edition Melon Ramune Mobile Suit Gundam G Fuel Collaboration. I've got the collector's box here. We've got some cool artwork on it. We got the Gundam and Amuro on the front. We've got Char, his custom red Zaku 2, and the other Zaku Troopers below. We've got the Gundam and Amuro on this side, complete with the RX 78 2 Gundam on this side. Custom little G Fuel logo and things like that. I'm super excited to jump into this. We're going to open it up, but real quick, just to address the question that I know you're going to ask. I know you guys are going to say, well, if we look back, you know, a few videos ago, we see that you had a, a you know, partnership with Dubby. What's going on with that? Why are you showing a competitor's product? As far as Dubby goes, guys, I think it's kind of safe to say that I've renounced my partnership with them because ultimately I didn't get anything out of them. I promoted them on my streams. I had their logos in my streams. I had my discount code, things like that. I put it out there and in hopes that it would help me grow. And also on their end, when you sign up for, for the partnership and, you know, if they accept you, they tell you that, you know, hey, we'll promote you on social media. So it helps you grow, but also helps us grow. You know, we want to sponsor small creators and help the community. Great. But I only ever see in their advertisements the same like two or three people and I've, I've never seen them before. And it, when it comes down to it, like I don't mind, I don't have to be promoted and things like that, but it's the same couple people. And yet I'm constantly seeing other people that are like, hey, I just got accepted. Hey, I'm super excited to be part of the team. Hey, check this out. I'm putting your logo on my race car and this and that. And they get, they, they, those people are, are getting nothing get no attention it's not just me it's a ton of people that are getting no attention i don't see a lot coming from dubby and it sucks it's it, it's sad because it, it kind of feels like you're being taken advantage of and ultimately i do use g fuel i've used g fuel i've used sneak i've used glitch i've tried all these other energies and when i made my dubby video i was super excited and super pumped about them because i'm like oh i tried all these other ones and blah 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 you know but I, I've, I've drank them all. I don't really care. I like the taste of Dubby. I think it's great. And, and honestly, don't let this turn you away if you like their product too. But I just don't feel like I benefited anything from having them as a partner. I didn't get anything out of it. They never promoted me. I made content with them. I did my reviews here on my channel of Dubby's product. And I, I sent it to them. I showed them my promotions and things like that. And they never they never responded to me. But I also had seen plenty of times like on their Twitter and stuff like that where they'd they'd like or they'd retweet somebody with some stupid, you know, picture or whatever that was just like, hey, look, I got Dubby in it's But if if you're a creator and looking at all these other creators, including myself, that are that were like look we're doing this hey look we did a review of this and this product super excited to be part of the w team and this and that but then they got nothing got nothing out of it it just kind of felt like we were all lost in the mix and they're growing so maybe that's all it was maybe it's the fact that they are they are a small startup that is trying to compete with companies like g fuel and things and ultimately they're growing, so they're getting so many new creators and so many new content, you know, things made about them and pushed out there that ultimately they just wanted to try and, you know, try try to appease everybody and they, they want to, but they just didn't get there. Whatever the case is, it is what it is. I have no hard feelings, no ill will with Dubby, but in the end, I'm not really gonna consider myself partner with Dubby anymore. And in the end, realistically, I, I think, I think I jumped into that kind of stuff a little bit too fast. Like I was excited to try and see a way to grow my channel from another perspective and excited for the fact that I saw the advertisement it was like, hey, I'm going to put in, put in an application for this. I'm a small creator. I'm growing. I'm trying to grow. Maybe it will help me, maybe in the end, but it didn't. So it is what it is. Unfortunately, such is the way life goes. But for now, we're going to check out this G Fuel and i'm super excited to review it and from now on you guys will probably see me trying a bunch of other things like this or reviewing other g fuels because i do get g fuel collectors boxes up on my shelves there i kept it way up high and hidden because of dubby out of respect for them but i have the mega man boxes i have two of the mega man boxes sitting up there one of the shakers is in the one and uh 
I, I have some of the other cool collector sets. I've gotten the Resident Evil ones and stuff like that before in the past, but this is really cool because if you don't know me, I'm a huge anime fan and Mobile Suit Gundam, that entire franchise, meta series, whatever you want to call it, is one of my all-time favorites. I love mech-related things and actually one of the games that I dream to make, one of the ones that I have that's going to take me a very long time to get to because it's going to be full 3D and a lot of things is it, you know, to it, is a mech-themed combat game very heavily inspired by Mobile Suit Gundam. So this is a big inspiration for me and I'm super excited to be able to try it. So let's go ahead and without further ado, let's pop open this box, get started, check it out and see what all's in here. Now I do know from the site that one of the biggest cool things that comes with this is a stainless steel shaker. Ah, and there it is. Hand wash only. So these stainless steel shakers, they've only got a couple of them out now, but they are definitely hand wash only. You don't put them in the dishwasher or anything like that. It's got a neat little flip clip on the back here, I guess, if you want to carry it like that or if you want to clip it to something. But as you can see, we've got the Gundam's head up in the top, G Fuel logo on the side. There's Shar Zaku, some cool Japanese text there. Uh, the RX-78-2 and then some text there and the Gundam itself on the outside. And this has almost got like a little texture to it. Like if you feel it, it almost feels like raised paint or something. It's really, really cool. I like this. I really like this design. It's not super heavy for being stainless steel though. No heavier than like a regular travel coffee mug or something. I do like that. And to be totally honest, I'm not sure if this text I'll have to maybe run it through a translator, or if any of you guys can read Japanese, you know what those say, let me know in the comments. I'm not sure exactly what these say, or if they correlate to the Gundam or the pilots. Maybe this is like Shar Osnabol, Amur Ray. I, I don't know. I don't know for sure. But it obviously has some meaning to match the theme of the cup. So if you guys know what it says, let me know in the comments. Um, I'll put it up there so you can see it a little bit better. Hopefully. There you go. Um, but yeah, I'll run it through a translator myself or use like the Google Lens or something to see if it can tell me what it says. But uh, let's go ahead and just open it up and see. Because you know, most of your G Fuel shakers come in like three parts. You got the screw off top and you've got the insert in the inside that, that's got like the little, almost looks like fan blades and things. Oh, wow. So that insert is actually in the lid and it doesn't come out. It's stuck inside the lid and there's a little rubber seal in there and then if I can aim this at the camera, I do not know what I'm doing. I have no coordination control. Terrible. Anyways, so you see, that's just a regular stainless steel cup inside. So nothing too crazy, nothing too special, but that is really cool. And I think I'm gonna like that as a, well, means to drink out of. <laughs> but again, as the package said, we got a little hand wash only card. So make sure if you get something like this or if you've got one on the way, make sure you keep that hand wash only. Let's see what else is in the box. Got a little like a card here. Oh yeah, cool. Little G Fuel Gundam postcard. And it's got the symbol or, or the, the Gundam itself on it. The symbol up in the top here for Mobile Suit Gundam and then the G Fuel symbol in the other corner. A little bit of advertisement on the back for Gundam info and stuff about Gunpla and, and just explore the world. The Explore Gundam World with anime, Gun Gunpla model kits, and games. Video games are pretty cool right now. They've had they've had a few hits. There's a few that are a little bit clunky, a little bit hard to play, but I tell you what, the Dynasty Warriors Gundam series is one of my all-time favorites, and I'm really hoping, fingers crossed, that someday we get another one. Gundam Evolution isn't bad right now. It's kind of like an Overwatch clone, but if you like that sort of thing. There's a sticker, and it's Mobile Suit Gundam G Fuel has... The OG granddaddy right there as well. And last but not least, inside the box, we have the MS M31 on Melon Ramen A Gundam flavor. So I think what's left besides checking out this cool artwork, energy, focus, endurance, reaction, 15 calories, I think the only thing left beyond checking out these nutrition facts is giving this a taste. So let's go ahead and look at the supplement facts, the nutrition facts here. Um, let's see. So basically, 
typically just like just like dubby just like the other energy drinks you get like 35 to 40 servings per tub in this case 40 servings of g fuel um it's one scoop 15 calories three grams of total carbohydrates zero grams of sugar zero gram added sugars 250 milligrams of vitamin c 10 milligrams of vitamin e 15 milligrams niacin 10 milligram vitamin b6 10 microgram vitamin b12 and 80 milligram of choline or choline not sure how to pronounce that 79 milligram of sodium 1000 milligrams of taurine 999 milligram of l tyrosine 500 milligram of l citrulline malate 140 milligrams of caffeine 100 milligrams of glucuronolic no lactone the long one that i can't pronounce 50 milligrams of n acetyl l carnitine hci whatever that is and 26 milligrams of their antioxidant com complex which is a whole bunch of like fruit powders mixed here like literally a whole bunch of different ones um and then there's one milligram of n acetyl l tyrosine and then adenosine 5 triphosphate disodium salt one milligram other ingredients maltodextrin which that's like an anti-caking thing citric acid natural flavors silicon dioxide acesulfame potassium and sucralose which is what sweetens it essentially now the one thing when it comes to a lot of those ingredients now we've I, i've checked out ingredients and nutrition facts on other things that i've tried before other energy drinks and things that i've tried on the channel um there's some things on here that I'm not quite sure what they are, so definitely do your research if you're not sure, if you're not familiar, you're not into stuff like this, or if you're looking into trying, but there's things that you don't know what they are, definitely look into them. That's one of the things that I need to do some research on is some of these ingredients because I don't really know what they are. And that doesn't mean that they're bad for you. They might not be. They might be good. They might be okay. Um, Excuse me, but... They, there's that stigma where if you don't know how to pronounce it, it's probably not good for you, whatever. It's not necessarily true. Um, so just do your research. Just look at these things. And if there's something on there that maybe it's not good for you or maybe you can't personally have it, definitely stay away from this stuff just for your own safety, for your own risk. Everybody has health issues and, and risks and things that they need to take care of. And make sure to be mindful of that before trying energy drinks, whether it's powder, whether you go grab a can from the grocery store, whatever the case may be. But when it comes to ingredients and things that you're unfamiliar with, definitely do your research. Now, I'm kind of going to be hypocritical about that because of the fact that I'm going to try this on camera. And, I, and like I said, I've been drinking this stuff for a while. And I may at one time have looked up a lot of this stuff just to see what it was. And I just don't remember because I didn't absorb the information. But I'm definitely going to do that here a little bit later and take the time and do a little bit of research on this stuff just to see. What is it? Is it good for me? Is it bad for me? Maybe we'll do a second video or, or a video another time just talking about that. I don't know. I'm not a health expert, so that's probably not the kind of thing that I want to put on my channel. I just want to review cool stuff like this, especially when it hits that theme and things that I like. So uh, without further ado, I'm going to go wash this shaker up, hand wash only, and we're going to give it a quick taste. We're going to get this melon ramen a flavor, a taste, and check it out and see what it's like. All right, so I went and got this washed. I washed it and I filled it up with some water. We got some water, a little bit of ice in there just to make it nice and cold. Let's start by opening the flavor up and giving it a smell and see what it smells like. Now, I'm gonna make some cuts as I'm doing this because I'm also making a uh, TikTok for this as well. So let's go ahead and open this up. And as usual, the little extra, uh, in the top there. Ooh, first things first. Smell the melon flavor. And it's not like, you know, in, in America, like watermelon or something like that. This is more of like your like your white melons and stuff that they have, like the, the fruits, more of like the yellowish whitish color over there, or closer to like a cantaloupe or honeydew almost kind of melon. This smells really good and it smells mild. I like the smell of the flavor, but it also has that slight soda ramenet type smell that's coming from it as well and for those of you that don't know what that is maybe i've heard people pronounce it ramune i've heard it i i think ramen a because i think of you know some of the some of the ways i've heard things pronounced in japanese if i'm wrong please correct me on how i'm saying that feel free tell me in the comments but 
Uh, I basically that's like those marble sodas that you get that, uh, you, you get the glass bottle and you can pop the uh, marble down in and then drink the soda. That's like the marble soda, ramen, stuff like that. That's one example of it. I know there's other stuff out there and there's even candy and stuff that you can get that's flavored like that, but it's, it's just a type of soda from Japan. So that is, I got something in my eye now. Um, that is basically what that is if you're unfamiliar with it, but uh, basically you're supposed to take 12 to 16 ounces and put it in the shaker and that's what I'm doing here. So I actually do, um, I have 16 ounces of water in the shaker. Like I said, a little bit of ice. I usually do the 16 ounce. I think it tastes a little bit better that way and it's not too watered down, but oops. All right, let's take a scoop and put her in. Packed it in there. Get in my cup. Get in my cup. Close the cup. Shake time. Taste. Very good, very good. So it's got a very smooth, again, not, not really chalky, very smooth flavor, um, no bitterness, no weird aftertaste or anything like that. Um, definitely taste the melon and you get that soda-y flavor. The soda -y, I don't know if that's the way to put that, but uh, one thing, Mm. Very, very good. So no bitterness, no chalky flavor, no nothing like that. It definitely tastes really good. It's got an awesome flavor to it. Um, I definitely taste the melon and I taste that soda, that ramen flavor. Um, now, one thing to note is I've most recently, I haven't really had one of the sodas close to really compare it to, but uh, we used to get like the Tokyo treat boxes and things like that. And on occasion, we'd get the soda flavored candies, the ramen flavored candies, and they would come with like melon, grape, and regular and stuff like that, or, you know, just different flavors that match the ones that they have. This tastes like one of those. And, and most recently we had one, probably one of the last boxes that we got, we had a candy that had a melon flavored ramen candy in it. And it, it was good. It was really good. And this is kind of really reminding me of that. So I mean, I guess you could say it does taste like the soda, but it also kind of tastes like candy as well. I, I like it. I really like the flavor. Now, the question is, will I get a lot of energy out of it? We'll see. Usually I do. Usually the one thing with energy drinks like this, for me in particular, I'm not one that gets like super jittery or super hyper regardless. These kind of things are not supposed to. G Fuel and whatnot are not supposed to give you jitters and things like that. They're supposed to give you a good steady energy with less chance or no chance of a crash afterwards. And for me, more or less what caffeine and what energy drinks do for me is they just kind of wake me up and make me feel more alert. They don't make me hyper. They don't make me feel like I'm really, oh my God, I'm, I'm alert now. I'm ready. I got so much energy. I'm just going to bust through things like, you know, like that family guy parody of when Peter drinks all the Red Bull and he's all like, oh my God, I'm busting through walls and crap like that. No, this for me, it's going to give me that alertness. It's going to give me that more steady flow of energy and that better feel of myself throughout the day. And I won't feel like I'm ready to go to sleep midday, which is pretty much all the time anymore for me. That's just normal. But when I have something like this, it helps me get through that. And it helps me beat that tired feeling on the regular basis. So with that being said, if I had to go ahead and rate the Gundam G Fuel out of 10, now there's a lot of good flavors. And like I've said, I've tried the Mega Man, that Blue Bomber slushy, Ice Blue, uh, blue raspberry vanilla or whatever it is. Oh my God. It's so good. That's one of my favorites. Uh, nemesis tea is also one of my favorites. This isn't my all time favorite flavor, but it's up there. It's very, very good. I think I'm going to give this a solid like eight and a half out of 10. 
really, really awesome flavor G Fuel. Anxious to see what other collaborations they've got coming up. I know I have on pre-order uh, another stainless steel shaker set, the Rainbow Six Siege set. I'm part of the second wave. Now that one, they had a first wave and I think those are starting to ship out here this month or people are receiving them. Uh, I should get mine within a couple and I'll give that a try. I think March is when the next shipment for that is. But I also have the Pac-Man Power Pellet coming. We'll do reviews of them here on the channel too and for TikTok and we'll see what comes up with those. I'm super excited to, to show off and try some more things a little bit more freely now. And I hope you guys understand my thing with Dubby. Like I said, no hard feelings against them. But in the long run, I just feel like they weren't doing anything for me as far as a creator and as far as what they promised for content creators and helping us out, helping us small creators. So with that being said, that's going to be it for this review. I hope you enjoyed it. And I really hope that if you go and check this, th this kind of thing out yourself, like I said previously, be mindful of your health, read your ingredients, understand what's in it before you make those decisions. And if you want to do more research, check out your sites, check out your websites, check out if you can find it in store, go look at that stuff as well. And you'll be able to uh, do a little bit more and get a little bit more out of it before you decide to make that purchase. But in the end, that's G Fuel. That's the Melon Ramen A G Fuel Mobile Suit Gundam collaboration. I feel like building a gunpla now, but I got other stuff to do. So I'm going to get going. You guys have a great one. We'll see you in the next video.